an adventure. So, Adam. So this is Max and Buzz. Um, <laughs> they came into our care last year um, as day old lambs. Um, they hadn't even... So they're a year old? Um, no, they will be a year and two months. Oh my, oh hello. <laughs> a year and two months. So they, and they came in as day old lambs. So they, you yeah, literally... they were day old lambs. And it was, it was really difficult because the... Unfortunately, orphan lambs are not always treated with, with any form of respect, really. They're, they're just the product and being male as well, um, they would have gone off to be me if somebody had bought them to rear, rear them for that purpose. Oh, so that you, so the, I mean, these, and these have got home for life, did you? Yeah. Um, we don't rehome any of our sheep. Um, they come in as a permanent flock. Um, the reason for that is just to make sure that they are never exploited again. Um, I mean, uh, Max here, the black-faced one, um, he was so ill when he came in, we weren't even sure if he would survive at all. Oh, that's so, it's just, so how, so what did they have to go through? So when they got here, they were ill. What was wrong? Um, just lack of nutrition, really, because um, the most important part in any baby animal or any baby full stop is, is that initial nutrition from their mother. Um, Max hadn't even received um, the basic colostrum. He was less than 12, 12 hours old. When 12 he hours old. Yeah. Oh my god. And look at them now. They're very large and very <laughs> boisterous. They're so funny. So we, we actually picked up, we picked up the sheep to come in here to film and um, they went past the chicken pen and they started stealing all the chicken food so to get that off them really quickly because they're so naughty. <laughs> but yeah, they are lovely and, and you kind of easy. Then these, you're like their mother, then really. Yeah, they even slept in my bedroom for two weeks. They slept in your bedroom for two weeks. Yeah. You, know, you are incredible. This guy, honestly, you, I mean, so I just unbelievable what you do because you know it, it seems so normal for you to have sheep in your bedroom. But that, I'm telling you, Adam, not normal, not normal, but incredible. So it, these... it was a complete necessity. Um, they, they really were not well enough to survive the, the weather outside, so. Um, they needed round the clock care to make sure that they, they would flourish and now they're still here Look today. Look at them now with their woolly coats! I love them, I love them. Can I take one home? I would say yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, just yeah, I wanted to check in. We'll keep you updated with these guys as well. And do you, you get baby lambs in as well sometimes, don't yeah, you? Yeah, um, we, we try and help it in as many ways as we can. Um, we are hoping for some new lambs soon, which will mean we can open our our doors to more animals in need um, and more guys <laughs> like this that really do need us because without without people like us um, doing what we do they, they wouldn't have a lot in life. No and look at them they are the happiest creatures they are mental but yeah they're really <laughs> happy so yeah we'll check in with you again we'll keep it's Buzz and Max. Buzz and Max so don't know where they're off to now. I think they've eaten all the food we got them. Anyway, have a lovely day and we'll check in again with you soon. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.